Hi, my name is Lee and welcome to my channel Cola Flipper. I'm a UK eBay reseller. I buy second-hand items at car boot sales and charity shops and I flip them online for a profit. Um, really, really quick video today. Just a, a bit of a sales update on a particular item I picked up. Um, <coughs> excuse me. That um, I shared a couple of weeks ago um, and um, it's basically a, a piece of uh, crockery that I picked up at a car boot sale that I only picked up because I had seen a, a recent post by um, one of our fellow resellers, uh, Sean Abercrombie. Um, I'll put his link in again, because I mentioned him in, the, in that video at the time. Well, that item has now sold. Uh, well, I, I got a bundle of, of items and it was all Ainsley crockery. The main item that, that I was interested in when I was buying it was this. So let's bring it up so you can see it. So that is an Ainsley coffee pot now this one that coffee pot I saw that at the car boot sale and um, I, I immediately I knew that was valuable <clears throat> the lady wouldn't split it from the the uh, bundle of items that she had she wanted all the crockery sold in one here we did the dance and we agreed on 60 pound for the lot <coughs> I knew it was worth a lot. I thought it might be worth 150, 180. I've just sold it for 230 pounds. So <clears throat> I put it up for, what did I put it up for? I put it up for 300 pounds, 299 pounds. Buy it now with offers. Within eight hours, I, I put it up, a, made it live at 10 in the evening. By the time I woke up, I'd had two offers of 200 pounds one from the US, one from Canada. And whilst I could have taken one of those offers straight away, Peter off in 200 pounds. <clears throat> I, I paid 60 for the entire bundle, so it's a massive profit immediately, and it means everything else in that bundle is gonna be profit. But I had two, you, you could say I was taking a risk, but I had two people offering 200 pounds within eight hours, eight to 10 hours of me um, making that listing live. So I took a bit of a chance, but thinking that, as as this is a, a collectible and, and clearly sought after item that people are looking for, that it was worth taking a chance on going back to them both. <clears throat> so rather than accepting either of them, I just basically went back to both people and said, thank you for your offer. Um, I've received two equal offers of, of 200 pounds. Um, I'd like, uh, please submit your, your best and final offer. Um, this again can be 200 pounds if you'd like. Um, whichever is the highest offer, um, I will accept. However, if both are the same, whichever um, person replies the fastest will get the item. I had within an hour or so, I had um, both responses. Um, I had one person come back at 215, and one person came back at 230 pounds. So plus the postage. <clears throat> so these are now going, or this one's going to Canada, um, and that was yeah 230 pounds. Plus, um, all I've got to do, because I ship it via GSP, um, uh, all I need to do is get it to the, the UK Global Shipping um, Program hub. And after that, not my problem. Doesn't matter if it gets broken, delayed, whatever else, it's all dealt with. As long as I can get it to the UK hub, I am safe. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty tasty profit. So I just want to show you this again. So I've taken the top off so I don't drop it. So this is called Orchard Gold, this particular pattern. So you've got gilt handles, gilding around the tops. And then you've got a signature here, D. Jones, that's Doris Jones. Now, I can tell it hasn't got any cracks because if you give it a little ping, it rings. If that has any cracks, it would be a thud. And it's very much the same with the um the lid get a little ringing noise so those are going off to canada top and bottom and that's the i don't know if that's going to focus that's ainsley uh doris jones was when was she active i think it was late 30s to late 60s she was one of the um artists um for, for ainsley and i've gone up very very close with a, a magnifying glass and this isn't hand painted. She would have done the original painting, but this is 
a print you can see tiny 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 little dots on there so that is actually printed that was again something that Sean had taught me I did actually um, uh, contact Sean afterwards and uh, ask him if I could send him a bottle of wine and um, he uh, very politely refused and said that um, he'd prefer that um, I pass it on and try and help someone else out so twofold a I wanted to show you guys this so you can learn from it but B I've I donated um, uh, a tenor on behalf of Sean to um, Mind, uh, the charity, and, and um, so I did that on, on Sean's behalf with, with his name for the, there's a, a um, fundraiser going on over the last weekend, 90s fundraiser, um, arranged by um, lots of resellers, but mainly it was, it was actually Lainey who'd been setting it up and had a lot of um, help from uh, other resellers, and I think she's raised over £5,000 so far, so if you haven't already donated, please do. Um, but I just thought I'd share this this particular thing because I'm very much a, a clothes and shoes reseller, but I'm very tuned into very specific things that are, are high margin, and I'm trying to constantly learn other things that are high margin. Now I've recognised this particular pattern, I know that I'm looking for anything that's got Ainsley on the bottom. If I see anything that looks vaguely like that, I'm going to go and have a look at it to see if it is what I think it is, check if it's damaged, etc. But now I know I can, I can do that. I may never ever see one again. However, as I now know that, I may see it, I may then pick up an absolute winner. So by me showing you this, hopefully if you see something similar to that at a car boot sale, if you can see it's got Ainsley on the bottom and it's not cracked and it rings and it's that pattern, not all Ainsley is expensive. That particular pattern is, there's another one called Cabbage something, Cabbage Rose. I think that's the, the really valuable one. Some of these can go for uh, for more than 200, we're talking three, 400 quid. So um, definitely, definitely something to, to keep an eye on, an eye out for. Um, with regards to packing, <clears throat> This will get bubble wrapped. Then it will get in, put inside a, uh, a sturdy box. And then that box will be f um, floated inside another box with more packing um, so that you've got at least two walls of cardboard and packing inside and in between the layers to, to minimize the chances of anything getting damaged. So if something hits it hard from the outside, even if it punches an inch into the first box, you've got the box, the packing, another box more packing before you get to that um do i pack all my breakables like that no if there's something that's i've, I've sold for 200 quid yeah hell yeah so um I, I tailor my packing to the delicacy and the profit margin um because that that putting that much effort into my packing for this particular item is going to take longer so I, I tended to uh stay away um stay clear of, of breakables but in this case um yeah i've done very very well so um i'll quickly show you some of the other bits from that box just so you can get an idea of some of the other ainsley things i don't know all the ins and outs of the prices on them yet but i got the entire box for 60 quid so massively into profit on the first item everything else is just a, a pure bonus after that so um number one go and check out um sean's uh instagram page he is regularly putting up um, really, really detailed uh, information and knowledge that he's got on all things antiques and art. He's, he's a bloody savant. He knows the ins and outs of everything. So if you want to learn about this sort of stuff, I, I'm a damn amateur when it comes to this. Sean is an expert. Go and check out his, his Instagram. Go and give him a follow. Um, it, it helps him out and you'll get to learn in the process. Um, secondly, uh, He's a very magnanimous bloke. He didn't want this bottle of wine. Asked me to donate it to uh, the to Mind, which you, the fundraiser that Laney was doing. So if you haven't already donated, or if you've got a little bit extra and you can donate it to Mind, please do that as well. It's um, any donations are, are greatly received, greatly appreciated and received, and um, it, it's it's doing some really really good work. So um, right, I'll just go and grab the other bits and show you a few other examples broken i when i bought this it was already like it the lady had broken it on the way to the car boot sale that's another ainsley i might just put that up for auction because i, I really don't know who's going to want to buy a, a broken teacup it's not like you're going to display it that way so that I, I don't know it's probably worthless with the break but that is another orchard gold 
It's all fine bone china. Yeah. This little, well, it's a long dish, probably about six, eight inches long by about two inches across. Um, I don't even know what it was. It, look, it looks kind of like an olive dish, but it's not the sort of thing that people had when that was um, made. So that's a bit of an odd one. Got some little tiny saucers. Excuse the lighting, this is my garage. This is not a photography studio, so um, not the nicest. So we've got some tea, tea saucers. Again, ah, oh, this is a different designer. This is a N Brunt, maybe? I might say N Brunt, I'm not 100% sure. So I've got two of those. Got next size up little side plates and this again D Jones so Doris. Gotta love Doris's paintings, very nice. So a couple of those and then I whoa and I've got my next size up which is this. This has got a slightly different back it says on there orchard gold fine bone china made in England but these depending on the the stamp on the back you can date them to a to a degree I there are websites I, I haven't gone into it in, in a lot of depth or any depth really um, I can't see a signature on that one so we've got a bit of a sculpt edge so I've got uh, two of those and what else have I got no, I've got four of those. Five. Oh no, you've got a slightly different one. This is one without the scallop edge, similar size. Again, another Doris Jones one. And again, you can see the different, um, the different stamp on the back. So I've got a load more of those. And then, At the very bottom, different. This is coal port. I don't know if that's going to focus. Now, the difference between the coal port and the Ainsley's is the Ainsley ones are printed onto the plate. They're original paintings that have been printed, so they're not hand painted plates. This, this is a hand painted plate, and it's damaged. So. You can see at the edge of the, the rim here, the paint has just been rubbed off because it's been poorly looked after. So it looks like it was a, a Baggett. I think it was Anthony Baggett. Um, and it actually says on the back, hand painted by Anthony Baggett. So I've got a, a jeweler's loop. And when you look at the difference up close with the loop, tiny, tiny little dots on the um, Ainsley ones. This one, you can see brush strokes. This at the closest detail this is you can see this is hand painted not the sort of thing you can always check when you're out in the field um, but you, you can check when you get home had this have been um, in good condition I have seen them on for sale for 190 odd quid I, I have no idea what it will go for with the damage but it's um, it's obviously going to impact the, uh, the, the sale value so hopefully that has given you put that down before I break it so hopefully that was a useful update showing you um, the, obviously the sale price of the teapot and giving you an idea of some of the, the potential profits that you can make on stuff that uh, you'll often find a lot of people say buy, buy what you know about or buy what you like. I don't like the look of it. It's not my style. It's not my taste. I wouldn't display it. I wouldn't um, eat off it, whatever. It's not my to my taste. However, I can see quality. I can see that it's bone china. You can see the quality of the manufacturing. You can see the quality of the artwork. So I can appreciate that it would have value to someone else. So there are times when I'll be at a car boot, I'll see something, I think, I'm not really sure about that. I don't like it, but I can see it's quality. And if I can see something is quality, then there's potential value in it. 
if you can buy it at the right price and sell it at the right price, you've got margins to make there. So uh, lesson, I guess, would be go outside of your comfort zone a little bit, do a little bit of research, um, maybe budget for every car boot sale you go to. You know what? If I normally spend 100 quid, maybe 20 quid of that should be on uh, something new that I can see as quality. So to, to almost push yourself into learning a little bit more. So I've, I've taken a risk. It, it's a risk that has really, really, really paid off. But off of the back of this, I'm now learning a lot more about um, English crockery and porcelain, etc. So, um, yeah, it set me on a, another path to learning another thing. So um, hopefully it's been useful to you. As I said, go and check out Sean's Instagram, um, Sean Abercrombie. Uh, and also, if you haven't already donated to Mind, please do. That's it. I shall see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.